Hey guys, and today I wanted to show you something here. As you're looking here, you can see uh, the Samsung drive is at the lower, the bottom drive here, uh, right here, is at uh, 30 degrees Celsius, and the top one's at 31. The top Toshiba is a regular a hard drive, like a 7200 RPM uh, hard drive, you know, a desktop hard drive. This here is the Samsung. Uh, SSD 960 Pro 512, which is at 30 degrees. Now, um, I wanted to show you where I have those drives. Basically, I want to show you on the Samsung, which is a um, SSD drive. I want to show you in my case where I have it. So here's my case. Let me open it up. Okay. And in here, and you have to take this off. I forgot to show you. Okay, in here, um, you see this? Where the blinking light is, it says Aurorus. That's what I have it in there. That's an add-in card. Now I could have put it up in here, right there, but I didn't. I put it in here. Um, that's a, and I, I'll show you that. I'm going to take that out and show you. But that has a big heat sink on it. Now normally I had it in uh, right there, okay, down in here, where this for this SSD is, and that was giving me 42 degrees Celsius. When I moved it to this, now I'm getting 30. So that's pretty good. So uh, plus it has a massive heat sink on it. Uh, I am going to also take it apart and show you inside of it uh, because I think the thermal uh, tape is not actually touching and it could probably even get cooler. So uh, let's go ahead and take that apart and I'm going to show you that. Thanks a lot guys. Okay, so I'm going to take out the card. Let's have the computer off. This is the card here. Uh, basically, just grab it, press on a part, so we'll just pull it right out. Of course, my screws are blocking it a little over there. From the video cards, so take it out. Nice. Now, here's the card I was talking about. This is the Aurora's card. Let me go ahead and take it apart so I can show you um, inside of it, and then you'll see what I'm talking about as far as the. Uh, the um, way the drive goes. So there's some screws in the bottom. Just pop those off. Get my screwdriver here. Just um, take them off. There's four screws. I only have three in there right now. So I drop one on the floor somewhere. And I noticed a big difference in temperature. So that was pretty cool. 30 degrees. I mean, versus 42, 43 degrees, that's a big temperature drop. Okay, but I did notice in here, and I, I took off the label that was on here. I noticed there's nothing, um, let's see, there's, looks like a little bit of the chip is touching, but not a lot on here. A lot is not touching. So, um, I'm going to pop off my thermal uh, pad off of my motherboard and I'm going to put it in and try to make it a little thicker. I don't have a, a thermal pad right now here. Here is um, not real long. I think I got an even longer one on the motherboard, but I'm going to pull it off. But there's a thermal pad on here uh, and I, it's probably not as thick. But what I'm going to do is take this off. It'll probably be just as just as good. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to lay this one right on here. And then I think I'll get a lot more. I'll just lay that like that. And you can see that actually covers the whole thing. And then I'm going to put this one on here. So that'll kind of squish it down a little bit better. And I think that's going to be a lot better. Um, at least it'll give me, I think, better thermal contact. Put that in there. Let's get the screws. And then I'm going to put it back in the PC and see what temperatures I get. And I know I'll get, probably I should get better temperatures. Because this really wasn't making very good contact. It didn't seem like it was, you know, making a, a heck of a, a good contact. Now, it should make a better contact. And I did, there was a label on there too. I took that label off. Let's see. 
and I'll check that same temperature. And that's actually the utility for my, uh, okay, I laid it down, I'm going to just check it. Let's take this off now and let's see how, you know, what areas it touches. Because you want it to touch everywhere on the chip because you want it to cool it, right? And I can tell. Okay, so it looks like you can see it touches everything on there. And I could see how this was. This wasn't even lined up that good. See how that was? So let's take a look. We'll take this out again. That didn't even look. Because when that laid down there like that, that didn't even look like it, it touched it. Really good. I'm going to have to get some more of this stuff. But right now, I just want to get it right on there. So basically, it's on there. And this. I'm going to put this right here so it goes over a little. should go right about there. Then pop this back on here and I'm going to see if I can get it from behind there because yeah, I want it to fall. It doesn't really matter as long as, as, long as it's on there. Um, I got these from Panera Bread, these little sticks. Or they're useful. Okay, so as you can see, I can get in there now. So I want it to lay right on there because I want, you know, the heat to conduct through here. It's not conducting through it. I mean, the hell, what, what the good is that? That's been in the ass. Let's go this in. I really think doing it like this now, I think um, I will get a lot better thermal contact and I believe that uh, the temperature should drop even more. I'll get, I, can get, I can get another pad for that, no big deal. So and I'm not even using it. But I have three of those on my motherboard. Right. I wish I could find my screw. It's laying somewhere on the floor. I don't know where the fourth screw. I'm famous for like misplacing and losing screws all the time. So I have another one somewhere. So, I'm going to get this back together now. We're going to pop it back into the computer and then we're going to turn it up and see what happens. And this should cool a lot better because now that thermal paste is just really making contact there. There's a lot of thermal paste on there. But that's how I want it to be. I want it to be tight. And let's see what, how the heat is. Okay guys, so now you can see that the Samsung, the one on the bottom that which was 30 degrees is 28. The Toshiba on top is 29, but don't forget I just turned my computer on. So if you let it run for a little while, um, I, I, I still think this is pretty good at 28 degrees. Now I'm going to give it a second here and pause on and I'm going to do a few things and then put it back on and see if it goes up.